Um, you can't pick and choose, you know, when you're going to play tough. Like there's a there's a switch that you turn on, um, coming out of halftime and say, okay, now we're going to play tough, and then think that 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 requirement of the toughness of, of resetting the basketball game, which we did. I thought we did a really nice job of resetting the basketball game with four guards. Um, but then that required, you know, that solution was working for us, but then it required heroic efforts by the guards on the defensive end, just heroic efforts trying to cover up our lack of size and um, our foul trouble and different lineups that we haven't had to play. Um, and so, you know, our backs were against the wall. And in those moments when the back's against the wall, um, if in the back of your mind you're thinking, well, we have an excuse, we're a little bit victims, um, then you don't get to the, you know, you, if there's a thought process there at all, um, you're not going to get the loose ball. You're not going to get the 55th ball. If you're, if you're calculating and conserving and trying to figure out how it is that uh, this, is, this is unfair or, you know, I, I have a disadvantage. I'm only 5'10 and they're 6'4", whatever. You know, and that's, I saw that happening on the team in the fourth quarter because that's what fatigue does. You know, you, you're heroic to make a comeback and then you're fatigued and then you start getting weak. And weak thoughts, weak thoughts got in our mind, including forgetting to meet passes and including forgetting to catch tough and including, you know, we didn't get to the free throw line in the fourth quarter, um, which is unreal for us. I mean, that's what we did. We were settling and we had weak choices in the fourth and Clemson did not. I mean, that was a heck of an effort. They were extremely fired up. Um, I don't think they expected to have the advantage inside, but then they realized they did and um, they really beasted us with their offensive rebounding. But um, still, it was a guards game. You know, if we hadn't turned it over 24 times and our guards could have controlled the game better, um, we still we still could have won that one, e even, even though. So um, that's where we're at. And uh, you know, that was a tough, tough locker room because they needed to hear the truth about their toughness and lack of it. Questions? I mean, obviously, Kate, playing without me is, is going to mm -hmm. be a tough challenge. I mean, when did you guys find out she wouldn't have her and just kind of dealing with that aspect? Of yeah, unfortunately, yesterday after practice. And um, we didn't have a shoot around this morning. So um, that, I mean, those things happen. Um, but I, I, you know, this, that's bigger than this for sure. And uh, we are with her and her family um, more than anything right now. Laura, from your vision, what did you see that was kind of breaking down? Coach kind of talked about the toughness, but on the floor, was it maybe some extra turnovers from other decisions that also went into it? Um, I mean, we did turn uh, turn the ball over um, at crucial times, I think. Um, Look like we're sometimes maybe a little bit scared even. Uh, well, I mean, not scared, but we didn't want to attack. And if you don't attack, you turn the ball over. Um, you know, coach tells us every day to attack. We didn't do it, and we turned it over. Um, credit to Clemson, they were really aggressive. Um, but this one we can fully blame on ourselves, yeah. How tough, Laura, is it to get into any kind of rhythm the way this game was, just with the free throws? I mean, on both sides, it was... It seemed like a lot more free throw shooting than, than getting to be out there making plays, things like that. How, how tough can that be to overcome sometimes? Um, I think that's what any, any team, honestly, is trying to do to us, to slow the game down. You know, Miami likes to run. Um, a lot of fouls were called in this game uh, on both sides. Um, the free throws slowed down the game. And, um, you know, that's what, team, that's what teams are trying to get against us, you know, to slow us down. Like, yeah, what was kind of your perspective today on just, you know, what happened out there, the turnovers, the, you know, like Laura said, slowing you down? How tough was it to deal with that stuff today? It was, we knew that they was going to try to slow us down. Our game is, we would like to speed it up. But we've been preparing for it. It was just on us to take care of business and get it done out there on the court. Mikea, you've been in double figures seven of the last eight games before that, just averaging five points over that stretch, over 15 a game. Has something clicked for you over that stretch? Um, I haven't really worried about points. I always try to come out, play my hardest, give full effort, and then let the score come later. Anything else? Okay, you guys have to mm. sit on this one for a week. Yeah, um, it's good. You know, what, what's kind of the plan for you? in that week with the girl or you know, with the team moving forward? You know, um, we hopefully, and I've always believed this about my team here, is like when pe someone exposes us, um, we attack that and, and we don't like to be so vulnerable and we were very vulnerable tonight. Um, I, 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 
I knew coming in, regardless of the, the Beatrice situation, that this was a tough matchup for us because no one has really come after us um, in the guard position. They, they really were heating us up and trying to turn us over, and we've had easy escapes because we can throw, throw it high. They've got great length, too, so their, their formula is really good. I mean, that's a nice roster. You know, that's, and Amanda did a great job and proud of her, but that's a nice roster, too. That's a nice, long, pressing kind of roster and um, they but they have a hunger um, that I admire and that we need to find and we'll it, it, we'll find it in a week anything else Laura do you think you'll find it in a week absolutely time to bounce back I mean we're a great program we don't lose twice in a row um, so we just got to get together get on the same page and just simply compete and practice that's where it starts we got a week to do it, then we're going to Duke, and uh, we'll be ready for it.